How to stop lunging and keep your weight back in the baseball swing. Today, that's what we're gonna talk about, and it's something that if you do not fix, you're gonna have poor performance, you're not going to hit for the power that you have, you're not going to be consistent. There's a lot of issues with that, and that stems because of the base. And what do I mean with the base? The base is the lower half, and basically it's the most important part of hitting. When a pitcher is pitching, what they're trying to do is get you off balance, and they're trying to break your base. So your whole goal as a hitter is to protect your base to stay balanced. Barry Bonds told me that he wanted to feel like he was in a phone booth. He wanted to feel like he was in there and as long as he stayed in that phone booth he was going to be successful because his head wouldn't move forward. He would be in an athletic position. He would be strong and if we look at him we see that he stays in that phone booth. We see that his head doesn't move forward. We see that he stays behind the baseball and that's what we want as a hitter. So our goal is to not lunge forward. It's to stay back, stay in a good athletic position. Some call it the triangle, the power triangle, where your knees are bent and your head's in between and you're just in that athletic position. You could drop this bat right now and you could steal a bat. You could drop that bat and you could, you know, block someone, guard someone in football or even take a shot. It's just a very, very athletic position, and that's where we wanna be. Now, how do we get ourselves in that position? How do we stay back and not start lunge? Well, I take a unique perspective, and the things that I do is what I did when I was playing. So the first thing I would do is I would do the bounce drill. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have someone who is at the L screen right there, a little bit closer to doing front flips with you or front toss. Instead of doing front toss with you, they're just gonna bounce you the ball. So you're gonna hit it on the bounce. And what that's going to do is, if you start leaking forward on it, you're gonna pound that ball right into the ground, right? And that's not what we want. So that's because your base got messed up and you're leaning too much on this front foot and your swing's gonna go down, you're gonna pound it right in the ground. Or even worse, you're going to miss the ball when it bounces. So it's gonna teach you to stay back. It's gonna teach you to wait for the ball. It's gonna teach you to be soft on this front foot, okay? So that's a drill I highly recommend you do. And it's the first drill that I would do. And the way I got that drill was because of Ichiro. Ichiro always wanted to be soft on his front foot. So he would do this as practice to keep himself back. You know, he was one of those people where he would go here and he would want to come forward. So this drill was to help him to stay back and let the ball come to him so he can drive that ball the opposite field, drive it wherever he needed to drive it. So once I seen him do it, once I heard the stories, um, then I was like, you know what? I gotta try this. And sure enough, whenever I felt like I was lunging or jumping at the ball, it'll slow me down and it would keep me balanced. It would keep me soft on my front foot and I would stay on my backside. It allowed me to drive that baseball and uh, hit those doubles and hit line drives all over the field. So it's a drill I highly recommend and it's a drill that will help you to be a better hitter. So the next drill I would recommend to you to stop you from lunging is the catch drill. Now, if you watch any of my videos, I always share the catch drill. It's by far my favorite drill and it was a staple when I was playing because there's so many benefits to this drill and I'm a big believer on it. And it's something that I do with all my young hitters and any lessons I do, it's the first thing I do. I always do the catch drill. And what that is, is I put a glove on their hand or if they're not using if we're not using the baseball we'll have tennis balls and they'll be with their batting glove and I will flip them the ball and I'll have them catch it with their top hand like they're hitting you see that motion right there it's letting the ball come to them they're getting soft on this front foot and then boom they're catching it with that top hand see so it's letting the ball travel instead of trying to go out and get it. they're gonna naturally go here and let it come to them. That is a drill that I highly recommend and it's something that will help you if you're drifting forward, it'll help you if you're lunging and you're being hard on that front foot. It's what me and Carlos Beltran, when I play with the St. Louis Cardinals, me and Carlos Beltran will be, you know, in the cage and we'd be doing the catch drill because we got it from Barry Bonds and Barry Bonds would do it because Barry Bonds, anytime he was struggling is because he was lunging forward or he was moving too far forward and that kept him to stay behind the baseball and let that ball travel. It's something that he did and it fixed him and it's something that I highly, highly, highly recommend. So do the catch drill, work on it. Again, you want to let that ball come to you. You want to get yourself 
yourself in the batting stand, you're gonna have a partner flip you the ball. They're gonna get ready to hit, and then boom, they're gonna catch it. And what you wanna do is you wanna catch it in between your belly button to uh, your front of your waist. You don't wanna catch it too far back here, because that's too deep. If you were swinging the bat right here, that would be foul. You wanna be here, right in here. You see that? Boom, I'm gonna drive this ball. So this is that power V that we're looking for, and that's where we wanna catch it. So we want our elbow to be like right in our belly button when we catch it, right? Right in this area, right here. From here to a little bit further out front to our front foot. So that's what I would recommend to you. Put it in your daily routine and do it. So the next and final drill is the softball drill. This drill is similar to the rest where you're gonna to have to wait for the ball. It's almost like emulating a curveball, but you're not getting a curveball. So basically you're gonna have someone be right there where they're gonna front flip you the ball and they're gonna throw it up like a softball. Throw it up like that. And you're gonna be ready to hit. They're gonna to toss it up. You're gonna give yourself ready to come, let it get down. And then you're gonna to have to blast it, drive that ball. But you see, what I just did there, I got ready and look how I stayed on that back side and then I threw the bat head and was able to, you know, get the barrel there. And that's what you want. You want to stay on that back side. You want to let the ball travel and then you want to crush it, right? And it's going to teach you to relax, calm down your body. It's going to teach you to let the ball come to you. And this drill is what the Dodgers do. The Los Angeles Dodgers, they do this softball drill to keep people to stay on their backside and get them to start working up and through the baseball. So they'll do this softball drill and uh, it really works. It really helps to keep your body from drifting forward. Highly recommend it and it's something that, you know, you guys should try and use. So if you enjoyed this, you'll like this video right here. It's a Barry Bond swing breakdown. It's something that I wish I would have learned when I was younger. It's life changing. It helped me to be a major leaguer. If you want to watch that video, click right here and I'll see you in the next video.